Hello and happy Halloween. It's October 31st. Uh, that means I've officially made it the first month, longer month, um, and got 59 days to go. Uh, I made it through one whole month with just one episode, I'm realizing, or one hiccup, and so that feels pretty good. That is a big change, or at least I'm feeling more stable uh, than September, which I think had maybe six, seven, or eight hiccups, which I was still feeling good about. So anytime I can finish a month and feel like I'm in the majority swing or I've had some good traction, it does feel good, especially considering that the last, that it's a full moon and it's, well, you can't see the moon from here, but um, it's been an emotional time. It's been a lot of burden and it's just been hard to manage all the feelings and to stay present and to not use a coping habit to escape it. So, um, or using healthy ones and not my, yeah, ED to, to escape it. And so, uh, I have been thinking about nature a lot and how nature is one way that I really do feel a sense of calm and peace. And I'm able to process my thoughts more clearly. I'm able to be myself. I think, uh, some of those things is, you know, when I'm outside nature, when I'm not running, uh, it's not about how active I am or how fit or how I feel, how my body is doing. And so there's no body shaming when I'm just out in nature and I'm hiking or walking. Um, and there's no body consciousness, I should say, um, that's tied to an ED. Uh, there's also no mirrors and there's not a lot of people. So there's not a lot of societal pressure. You know, when I walk around the city or I see other women around or if I'm seeing windows and mirrors a lot um, or face around food, um, that can be hard. And so being out in nature is just a really nice comforting space to just be free from the things and get to process. And um, Which is why I, I don't, I think I've ever really talked about it, but my other Instagram account, Recovering Rai Rai, I don't pay, post any comments when I post photos and I only post nature shots <laughs> uh, because that is one way that I'm recovering through is through being outside and, and feeling rooted in the Pacific Northwest. And as I look at other social media that are focused on recovery, and there are a lot of positive things and a lot of that focuses on body positivity and body shape and not needing to be a certain weight or size, uh, which is, is awesome and helpful or if there are photos of meals um, and you know lifting off shame around diet culture and what you eat and being really honest about the struggle and there are long form posts about you know engaging with food on a daily basis and I think that those are all good. Uh, I just felt like at this time in my recovery and in the mix of the content that's out there uh, you know sharing that you know nature just as much as eating three meals a day um, and going to therapy nature has been a way for me to recover in a really positive way and it is really peaceful and I felt like that's something when you're scrolling through an Instagram feed that it's nice just to see some flowers or a tree or the ocean and um it's like a moment of zen and when I look at that feed I just this makes me happy and brings me peace <laughs> Uh, especially with other social media accounts being used for other things and more engaging and it's just a little more tense and there's more anxiety and there's like a more emotional vulnerability there where um, this other account is kind of a way for me to escape into this other side of me. Um, I don't have to share about it a lot. It doesn't have to be super public. I don't tell a lot of people. There's not really that. I don't have many followers. I'm kind of okay with that. Um, it really is mainly just for me to post it and anybody who finds it and likes the nature shots, like, that's cool. Um, they're not super great, but they're still pretty. Uh, that it is as much as, like, I talked about yesterday, that loving the people who support you and they're an important part of my life appreciating nature and being out there um is also really important and that I, it's like instead of focusing on the negative things the things i'm trying to avoid it is helpful with recovery to focus on the things that you that do bring you joy and aren't negatives um the, the positives i you know i can fill my day with nature i can fill my days with people who love me i can fill my days with um reflective like reading or writing um these are things that give me life. It's not so much about running away from my eating disorder. What do I add into my life that gives me life and is fulfilling? And I, and I think some ways that the, these daily inter 
entries have been uh, fulfilling and life-giving and so I can add that to the list and it still is like hard sometimes to like get it and get it done and I find myself avoiding it um, but once I get into it and I feel peace so it is helpful um, there are some good topics I want to talk about this next these next 30 days um, kind of how my eating disorder has affected other areas of my life um, and I think ways that other people maybe can relate to um, better ways that I'm still kind of pushing myself in so today it was just about being outside being in nature I got a chance to do that and reflecting on those are the things that add to my life um, this that's the life that I'm fighting and life, life that I'm building is you know loving and supporting relationships with other people and in the outdoors that brings me joy.